Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Bell and welcome to episode 2 of the New York Mets and we are at opening day. Now for some reason, the game didn't simulate spring training in any way, shape or form. So we come into this very, very, very cold. None of our minor league teams have uh, played any games yet either, so everything is still fresh, but we have made some trades. So let's go and have a look at those. Let's go into rosters and transactions, our transactions log. And basically what we've done is, in the minor league uh, system, what I've done is, I'll show you that first actually. We'll start with the minors and work our way up. I've tried to work it so that on current ability, all our best players essentially for each position are in are in the are in the Mets in the, the first the the major league team. Then next or the next best are in AAA or the best after that are in AA and so on and so forth. So that's kind of what I've done. So we've moved players around um, to get similar. That roughly that's what I'm going for. And what we'll do is if a player is lighting up a league, we'll bump them up to the next team. Or if uh, if their star rating starts to improve, then again, we'll bump them up to the next team. So that's kind of what all this is. It's just me playing around with that. And then we did make some trades and uh, signings as well. First up, uh, this reliever, Kyle Dowdy. Um, there was a problem with him. I forget what it was. But basically, he was annoying me. So we've sent him off to Atlanta along with this pretty ridiculously hopelessly uh, bad catcher he's gone off to the Braves as well and in return we have got Vizcayano uh, Adroides Vizcayano who is a very very decent I would say uh, closer uh, my plan is what we can do he's a free agent at the end of this year on 4.8 mil um, we already have a really good closer obviously in Diaz but I'm thinking uh, we, I want to I kind of want to get a bullpen where it's just lights out we go in front we can just have just lights out pitching out of the bullpen uh, so that's the plan for him getting in the bullpen as well and then Alex Jackson as a as a catcher catching is a bit of a weakness for us now considering the guy we shipped out to get this guy back three and a half star potential I'm really really happy with that uh, some good power as well which is good decent enough in the field um yeah, so I think that we did really, really well out of that trade. Uh, some more playing around with the uh, minor leagues there. Uh, we lost him off to Miami. And then Dermot Frisk. We needed an Australian because it wouldn't be an Aussie villain team if we didn't have an Australian. And old Dermot here, he is our Aussie. Um, he's a second baseman. You can see two and a half star potential. Is he going to really be a major league uh, prospect? I mean, he's only 19. He's probably not, but he's going to play in the majors anyway. Spoiler alert, there will be an Australian major league team at some point. Uh, and it may well be Dermot. Um, so we'll see how he develops there. But he's down at the was it the Cyclones, I think he's in right now. Then we had 36-year-old Jason Vargas. He's on $8 million a year. He, he had some... I don't really understand how all the contracts work, but he sort of... He had to be in the major league team. Um, so we shipped him out, and we got in in his place. We got Matt Harvey. Now, I've heard of Matt Harvey. I'm sure I've heard of Matt Harvey. He's on 11 million, but his contract is up this year, whereas Vargas had two years left on his contract. So we're actually saving 5 million by doing the trade uh, overall. Uh, this guy's only 30, only just 30 as well. Uh, and I feel like he's a, he can maybe be either a fifth uh, starting option for us, um, or maybe he actually could be anywhere in the top, anywhere sort of third, fourth, or fifth. Or potentially, uh, the thing we have with our bullpen, and I'll get into it more when we get there, is there's not much, it's all very short relievers. Um, Potentially, we could use him in the bullpen as a long reliever as well. Uh, but that was another trade that we did. Uh, we mucked around with the, uh, what's it called, the minor league teams. And then we signed Craig Kimbrell. Now, again, I've heard of this guy, so he must be good. A few all-star caps there as well. Uh, 7.5 million over three, for four three years. I think it's 22.5 million over three years it works out to. Again, really good stuff. I still don't really know what that means, but I think it is how fast you throw all your pitches. Uh, fastball and knuckle curve, absolutely lights out stuff. Again, we'll put him in the bullpen. Stamina's not the best, but I think he'll do a good job for us. And with that many all-star caps, he must be good. Um, so that is what I'm thinking there. That's pretty much what we've done. Let's have a look at our pitching uh, as it stands right now. Um, kind of, this is kind of behind my head here. I need to go this way. Uh, so it's DeGrom, Schneider, Guard, Wheeler, Mats, and Harvey. They are our starting pitchers. We've got it set, so we'll always start the highest rested. So I'm thinking that for most times, we'll be sort of, we'll probably just play, there'll be the, the front four, and then fifth will just sort of come in pretty much if we have five games in a row. Um, so yeah, I, the only my only concern, as I said, is whether we move the fifth rotational starter to a, a long relief and emergency starter. But in terms of the bullpen, Edwin Diaz absolutely lights out as a closer. Then we have... Familiar, uh, again, 
pretty decent stuff. Look at that movement. That is insane. Um, again, as a, as a setup, Justin Wilson as another setup option. Uh, again, stamina in these guys isn't great. Lewis uh, Aviland. Uh, again, not good stamina, but everything else there is he's a well-rounded, uh, well-rounded pitcher out of the bullpen. Uh, Villanese. Now we called this guy into the major league team. Um, just check my notes here. Yeah, we pulled him in. He was in AAA, but again, three and a half star potential. I think he's really, really good. Twenty-three as well. So um, he's got a little bit better stamina. He could do a, maybe you know a couple of innings if we needed him to. Viscayano, we've already seen absolute quality there. Um, and then we have Kimbrell as well. So our bullpen, if we get in front, I'm thinking lights out. The problem is that if we don't get a good start uh, and the starter has to go off early, I mean, we, we could just do one and done pretty much maybe, but I don't know if we have sort of multiple innings relief in the bullpen. So that could be a problem. Um, but again, let me know what you think in the in the comments of, of the transfers and the trades so far, but that's what we've done. Uh, we'll have a look at our uh, starting lineup when we get into the game, because we're about to play the Washington Nationals in on opening day. And here it is. Now, I realize some of these are going to be behind my head here, but it's Ahmed Rosario leadoff playing shortstop, uh, batting second, playing second base is Robertson Cano. Uh, batting third and uh, playing catcher is Ramos. Cleaning up is Conforto in left field. Peter Lonzo, the guy we called in to play first base, bats number five. Now, he has uh, pretty good power, uh, so I'm hoping he'll sort of I like to have three, four, and five as sort of big power hitters if I can. Brendan Nimmo, he's right field, batting number six. Uh, and we have, you can only pronounce that as large ass, really, can't you? Uh, he bats number seven, playing in center field. Todd Frazier, he's third base. He's batting number eight, power of 60. I'm kind of hoping that before the pitcher comes up to bat, he'll just hit home runs and just clear the bases for us. And then Jake DeGrom, he pitches uh, opening day here for us. We don't expect too much from the bat. Although I think he is actually not... The worst, or am I thinking of Snyder Guard? Anyway, we'll see how he goes because we're about to get underway. All right, this is exciting, isn't it? It is all about um, it's all about Mikey, Mickey Conway, Callaway, Mickey Callaway. Now he takes over the game. We're going to try the entire game. See how hopefully. No, let me know what you guys think um, when we get to the end here. If you like the whole game or just snippets of it, that looks like a decent hit. Is it going to get down? It is a foul ball. And I did drop in for a base hit. Never mind. A lead off. From Ahmed Rosario. Now we have Robinson Canoe, runner on first, none out. That was a really good start for us. Can we get a nice early rally? That's going to drop. You know, it's out. Damn. Ah, oh, the bat. I thought maybe, maybe that was just going to fly in to, uh, to left center for us. But no such luck. It is Wilson Ramos, the catcher. What's he got for us? Decent hitting start. This could be a double play, though. Oh, did he get there? Did he beat it? Did he beat it? He didn't beat it. It is a double play. That's a bit disappointing after a leadoff single, isn't it? All right, let's see what DeGrom has for us. It's Adam Eaton. Never heard of him, but he looked like he had pretty good contact, so this could be a problem. Strike out. Have a seat, son. Have a seat. That's what, he, that's what DeGrom is all about. All right, this guy is Turner. It's 55 contact, 50 power. Have a seat, mate. Have a seat. That is two strikeouts for DeGrom. Let's make it a hat trick, mate. This guy has 70. Use this. Juan Soto. 70 contact, 65 power. He's obviously a threat, but again, mate, take a seat with your mates because use is out. What a start for DeGrom. That's what we like to see. All right, second innings. It is Conforto up the middle. That could be... Oh, no, it's a fly ball. Optical illusion, everybody. Relax. It's a pop fly. <laughs> no, nothing to see here. And now we have Pete Alonso. This is, I feel this is my boy. We've caught him into the majors, and it is a pop fly again. It's all right. We're just testing them out. Just testing them out. Finding the limits. Up next, it is Brendan Nemo. Can we find Nemo on the bases? No, we cannot. That pretty much got what that joke deserved, didn't it? So we are through one and a half here at Nationals Park. Let's see what the Grom can do. Oh, that's, that sounded meaty. That's to the fence, and it is a double, it looks like. Well, the first runner in goal scoring, goal scoring position, I've got to get football manager out of my brain. First runner in scoring positions, and now we have none out as well. Zimmerman comes up to bat. Oof, he's hit that as well. Is that gone? Is that, that might be out of here, you know. Hmm. Not really what we wanted. 401 feet. The Grom, excellent first innings. 
I'm going to say the second innings has has not got off to as good a start. That's the striker. There we go. He's back now. That's the DeGrom we know and love. It is Victor Robles. This guy looks like a bit of a Muppet, judging off those power and contact at space out in the middle. I shouldn't call people a Muppet until they're out. Um, if you are wondering where I'm getting this from, if you are new to the game, over here you'll see there's contact, power, and eye, and then speed and stealing ability. So that's what all those stand for. Uh, then above my head here you can see the Grom, his, uh, that's his stuff, his movement, and his control, I think. Yeah, control. Uh, his stamina and his ability to hold runners on base, and then that's his pitch count. So you can see he's nowhere near his sort of red zone yet, but that will, that will change, obviously, as we go. All right. That's a double play. It's a double play. One, two, turns it. There it is. Ho, ho. And that's the innings. But the damage was done before. <laughs> Already been done, hasn't it? We are three. No, we are not. We are two nil down. Three hits to one. And now it's up to one large ass to get us underway here. This guy is he's quick. Oh, he's going to beat the runner, is he? Oh, did he get there? He's covering. He's out. Oh, I thought for a second. A wonderful, wonderful second. All right, Todd Frazier. This is this is our power boy. Go on, Toddy. That's decent-ish. It's gonna it's just gonna sit up there though, isn't it? And that is going to be the second out. And now up comes Degrom. He's kind of what you'd expect from a pitcher. Not much. What can he do? What can he do? It's is it gonna drop? Get down! Get down! Get down! No, he's out. Well. We could have, should have quit after the first batter, I think, because it has not been good since then. All right, it is Max Scherzer. This is their pitcher. He is even worse than the Gromholm. This should be an easy sit down. Easy for uh, Keno at second base, and that is the out. That is the out. All right, now we're back to the top of the order. Adam Eaton. Now, we struck out these guys first time around. That looks a little bit better. Left field is there, Conforto, and that is the catch. Two down, and it is... Tina Turner at the plate. This guy has no power whatsoever. And that's an easy ground ball for Rosario across the diamond. And I think he was safe, was he? No, he was out. Well done, boys. All right. So we're through three innings now. 2-0 down. We need to get something going here. And that is a strikeout for, was it Rosario? I think we were back top of the order, weren't we? All right. Robertson Cano, what can he do? That sounded meaty. Is it going to drop in? It is going to drop in. We have a runner. He's going for second. No, he's not going to second. Just as well. Uh, just a reminder, I have no control on what's going on. This is all Mickey Calloway. He is in control once we take to the field. But a strikeout there for Ramos, which brings to the plate Conforto. Of course, he didn't get a hit his first inning, so therefore he is completely hitless so far this season. Well, if we go a hit every four innings, we might struggle. I'm just going to throw that out there. All right, DeGrom, he's up against Juan Soto. We got him out in the first time around. What can we do this time? That's a strikeout. Get in, DeGrom. It seems like when he's good, he's good. But he does have, obviously, a home run ball in him. That looks a bit chunky. It should be easy enough, though, for the right fielder, which is, of course, Nemo. And Nemo tracks that puppy down. All right, we are now, what, two down. Let's just wrap this thing up nice and quickly here. Strike three. How many strikeouts is that now for uh, for DeGrom? That must be, what was it, five or six already? We'll have to check next time we, uh, we're pitching. All right, we have at the plate Peter Londo. This is my boy. Go on, Petey. Oh, it's ball four. Well done, son. Well done. Good eyes, good eyes, good eyes. Trots up to first like that. All right, we have at the plate Brendan Nemo. What can he do? Fastball, it's another walk. All right, none out, first and second. As long as we don't hit into a double play here, this is this is decent. This is a chance. All right, large ass, what have you got for us? Oh, he's dropped it. It's a, it's a, it's a what do they call that? A pass ball, a pass ball, a wild pitch. Well, that gets the double play out of uh, out of uh, play. Takes the double play off the table. Anything now into the outfield from large ass, and that will be a run. And it's a strikeout. Oh, that's not really what we needed. All right, Toddy Fraser. After this, it's the pitcher. Oh, Toddy. Clear the bases for us, son. And he strikes out. It's the wrong part of the order, isn't it? These are the Muppets that don't really know what a bat is. All right, DeGrom. Do it yourself, mate. You gave up a home run. Now give us one back. Strike three. Well, it's a frustrating game, baseball, isn't it? It's a really, really frustrating game. All right, DeGrom. Does it say here how many strikeouts he has? He has six strikeouts. Not bad through four innings. All right, DeGrom. Come on, son. Let's have some of this. 
That's an easy ball for Rosario, the shortstop, and over for the out. It was the out, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Okay, who have we got up now? We have Victor Robles. This guy's one for one. This is the part of the order, I think, where they... This guy got on, didn't it? And the next guy hit the home run. That looks like a pop flight. No, it's going to fall in. Two for two. This guy's annoying. All right, now this is the home run boy. No, this isn't the home run boy. This is Kurt Suzuki, the, uh, the catcher. That could be a double play. Oh, third baseman. Who is that? That's Frazier. Ah. Oh. Now, now we're in a touch of trouble here. First, second, one out. And we have the pitcher at the plate. This, it, well, actually, this shouldn't be trouble. This should be. He's bunted. He's bunted. Can we get us? We're not going to get a double play. A productive out from the pitcher there. That's annoying. Um, oh, was he safe? Why do we have... No, we don't have loaded bases. Okay. So now we have Adam Eaton, two out, runners on second and third. This is absolutely massive. If they... Was, this is the base hit. We're in some serious trouble here, boys. It is up the middle. It should be easy. Oh, it's through. Robinson Cano, and that is 4-0 on the base hit with two out. Oh, that is so annoying. All right, DeGrom. Let's just finish this off. We'll go back to the dugout. We'll regroup. And that should be easy. There it is at second base. Every three innings, isn't it? Every three innings. Well, not really because they scored in the second. But there was a two-inning gap and then they scored again. We need to get something going here. It's the top of the order. Ahmed Rosario. What can he do? Strike out. Good stuff, mate. That's exactly what we wanted from you. All right. We now have uh, Keno. Now, he owes us because he let that last one through into the outfield. That is going to drop, is it? It is going to drop. He's two for three. That's a double two. Well done, Cano. He's two for three today. We'll give him that. He's kind of made up for it. But, yeah, not ideal. Not ideal. All right. Wilson Ramos, he's 0 for 2. He does have a little bit of power in him, a little bit of contact. Loves a strikeout. Ugh, that's two out. We need something now from Conforto. He is 0 for 2. Come on, son. It's down first baseline. Oh, he's thrown it away. He's thrown it away. I think that's going to be an error, but we will take it. Runners at the corners. Two out. It now comes down to my boy, Pete Alonso. Come on, son. I believe in you, Pete. Come on. Oh, that is a pop out to right field. Uh, I'd just like a run at this point, to be honest. Let's get the, the channel underway, the series underway, with at least a run. All right, DeGrom, 84 pitches deep now. This could be getting towards his last innings. That is straight back at him and easily out at first. Uh, I don't know. Do we say DeGrom's had a good game here, a bad game? He's had, he's had two bad innings, hasn't he? Otherwise, he's been essentially lights out. That's This is looking like another good inning. We now have Zimmerman, who's one for two. This is the guy that hit the home run, isn't it? Uh, it is, because it says right there that it is. So let's get this guy out. It's two out. Let's end this innings. Well done. Well done. Take a seat, Zimmer. And we are still... For, we need... Okay, we've got three innings to go. We've got nine outs. Brendan Nimmo. Mickey hasn't uh, gone to his bench yet. We still have... That is inside. It is inside. That's what we need. We need base runners. Uh, now we have large ass. What's he going to do? Contact of 50. Power of 30. He's very much a defensive player. Uh, that's strike three for him. Do we have? We do have Todd Frazier. He's not going to his bench. Old Mickey Callaway. That's another strike. Now, do we send? We can't send the pitcher up the bat now. Can we? Ten strikeouts. This guy's had Max Scherzer. Uh, we are sending the pitcher up. Mickey, I'm not sure I agree with this, mate. We're behind. You do realize we're behind. Degrom gets a bat to the ball, and he oh, can't beat it. And that is the out. If he now takes off Degrom home, oh, we've got to take me up to the ballpark. If he now takes him off, he, at least he left him on. Um, all right, come on, Degrom. I, don't, I mean, again, I don't. I'm not an expert in baseball by any means, but you've got to pinch hit your pit, your pitcher, don't you? Two out in the seventh with the base runner. Surely you've got to do that. It's his ninth strikeout for Degrom. I think maybe we've just come up against a better pitcher because their their guy has what was it 13 strikeouts or something that it said he's walked the catcher at two out. That's annoying. We're getting into the zone now where you've got to consider resting him. Now, they've brought their pitcher up, but that's fair enough because we've only got three hits all game. 
Um, that's his 10th strikeout for DeGrom. That is really, really good stuff. But surely now, that is it. So they've made a, they've changed their pitcher. We do have the top of the order. Go on, Rosario. He's one for three. He got hit first innings, if we remember. He started the baseball game with a hit, and we've done absolutely nothing since. And that's a strikeout. Oh, it does not look like it's going to be our day here, boys. Um, Robertson Keno, he's two for three. If there's someone who can do it for us, that's a strikeout as well. It's not looking good. 0 for 3. It's Wilson Ramos, the catcher. That could be through the middle. It is through the middle. Wilson gets on base. Well done, son. Now, it's Conforto. We need... Essentially, we need a home run here, don't we? Two out. Swing for the fences, mate. Because we need something here. Come on. Come on. Or just swing it all. Just, you know, even a check swing. All right, we have now gone to the bench. It's Kimbrell, my signing. This is my one of my boys that I've brought into the club. What can he do for us? Pitch comes in. It's off the end of the bat, it looks like, and it's through Frazier at third base, and it is a single to start off the innings. I'm going to say our fielding hasn't been fantastic. Uh, this is Tina Turner, 0 for 3. That is a strikeout. That's good stuff. Now a double play gets us out of this innings and into the ninth where we could potentially just... We're setting this up for the... Oh, that looks big. That looks big. Never mind. 6-0 down. Kimbrell, my boy. My boy, my boy. What have you done? Uh, I blame Mickey Calloway for this one. This isn't... I, I'm the GM. I'm in the stands. I've done my work. My work was done immaculately. I go back. I do go back to we had runners on, two out. Why did the Grom bat? It's another strikeout, but sort of that point damage is done. Let's just get a run. Can we get a run? It's PD Alonso. This is my boy. You're my boy, PD. It's straight to the shortstop. And that is the out. It's not looking like it's going to be pretty here, guys. Brendan Nemo. What can he do? We've got two outs left. That's a strikeout. We're down to our final out. We just need six runs. I'm sh it's possible. It's large ass. What can he do? Go on, Largy. It's a walk. It's a walk. So there's still, <laughs> there's still a chance, boys. There's still a chance. It's Todd Frazier. Now, my plan with this guy, remember, is just to clean up the bases. Let's see if he can hit a home run. Or he can strike out. There it is. That's the game, boys. That is the game. It's a disappointing first one. We've lost 6-0. So early, early days, but these are the league standings. We are bottom of our division, but I mean, let me know what you think in the comments. I think, I mean, the, the, I think the start from DeGrom wasn't too bad. I think there's promise there. Batting is already looking a bit of a problem though, isn't it? Um, I mean, conceding six runs isn't great. It's not the best. Um, yeah, but anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Where can we improve? Uh, what, where do we go from here? Let's have a quick look at the schedule here. Now, which one of these icons is the schedule? All right, schedule. We have a couple more games in March here against the Washington Nationals. We will come back on Wednesday for... Who do we come back for here? Do we... Um, we don't want to drag th things on here too long. I say we come back for... We want a first home game, don't we? Opening day at home. So it's going to be the Washington Nationals again. Um, but we'll come back. It'll be our first game at City Field, and I think we have to come back for that. So join me on Wednesday for that, guys. If you have enjoyed this episode, please do hit hit thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, just discovering Out of the Park Baseball uh, via my channel, thank you for watching, and please do hit subscribe and ring the bell so you see when I upload new episodes. There's also Football Manager on the channel, if soccer or soccer, if that is your thing, um, so check that out as well. But until Wednesday, guys, I've been Ozzy Villan. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.